everyone, welcome to this channel and this is your pre-service teacher, Krisha Paula Lubrido. So for today's video, we are going to discuss the concept on portfolio and its different types. So what are you waiting for? Let's go! So a portfolio is a planned systematic technique of collecting and assessing formative and or summative student assessments for the goal of recording student progress towards the attainment of learning objective in the course. So as a result, a portfolio is a collection of academic work and other forms of educational evidence assembled on the purposes of First is assessing the quality of coursework, learning progress, and academic achievement. Second is assessing whether the students have completed learning standards or other academic criteria for courses, grade level advancement, and graduation. Third is assessing students in reflecting on their academic goals and learning progress. And the fourth one is establishing a permanent archive of academic work of products achievements, and other documents. So, portfolios can take a variety of forms, ranging from notebooks packed with papers, notes, and images, to online digital archives and student-created websites, and they can be utilized at all levels of education, including elementary, middle, and high school. So, there are two main types of portfolio. First one is the documentation portfolio that shows students' work that illustrates achievement. And the other one is the growth portfolio that reveals the change in student proficiency over time. So in documentation portfolio, it is divided into three. The celebration, the competence, and the project. So for the celebration portfolio, it shows the student's best work. So examples are the highest score test, the highest grade paper, and the best project. So these became examples since it demonstrates the highest level of achievement attained by the student. And the work collected shows the students what can do and showcases work that the student is proud of. The second one is the competence portfolio, and it shows level of achievement reached in relation to the learning targets. An example is the mastery of each competency needed to do electrical work. So, the students would complete this kind of portfolio over the period of a unit or for the accreditation of prior experience or learning. So, in doing some electrical work, they might be doing the work to be credited inside or outside the university. And the third one is the project, and it illustrates competence on completion of a single task. So two of the examples of these are the history unit final presentation and the small group project on identifying chemicals in water sample. So the second type is the growth portfolio. So it shows the improvement of student competence over time. And examples are the writing that show differences in skill, as well as the drawings from the first part of the semester to the last week of the semester. So this kind of portfolio is designed to provide teachers with an authentic, individualized, student-centered growth measures that contributes to the professional learning and development. So this model or this kind of portfolio measures students' growth through students' work samples, scores by per reviewer, or the teachers themselves. And a portfolio is a living and changing collection of records that reflects your accomplishments, skills, and attributes. And it also highlights and showcases samples of some of your best work along with your life experiences, values, and accomplishments. And these different types of portfolios can encourage students to take more ownership and responsibility over the learning process. So I hope that you learned something meaningful for today's video. And once again, I am your pre-service teacher, Krisha Paula Lobrido. And if you learned something, please leave a comment, like, share, and subscribe. Bye!